Now, over here, I'm going to hide some things from you for now because I don't want you to know which which and what settings I'm using. All right, and we most mostly I don't want you to even know the settings I'm using, so you can actually go ahead and discover your own settings. I believe this is called um, Law of Diminishing Returns. If you remember, the, the, one, the book I actually mentioned the other time, um, How I Made Two Million from the Stock Market by Nicholas Davas. So if you go ahead and start using Nicholas Davas' method today, you will swear that you, you, you will lose. That's one of the, the faults of letting everybody know what it is you are using. So, which is why when I'm giving out these tools, I won't be putting the settings there. Or as a matter of fact, I will be, I will be release versions we actually have settings that are way off what I use, but I will give you suggestions of what to use. So don't even bother asking me because I won't tell you what I use. But then using them the you, way you've been using your other indicators, because they're actually all of this you see, they're all built up on um, the more indicators that you have by default on the chart. So I'll just give you an example on, or I'll give you an explanation on what it, and the, each the indicator is based on. And for there, you can now try to build up on that. Now, this at this moment, let's start to use the tools one by one. I showed you earlier this analyzed currencies. Just you know, put it on the chart and then that's all. So bring out the currencies and bring out the, the daily, daily, daily ranges for each of the same currency pairs. And the average, I think I used 10 days. Okay, maybe the final, edition, final edit of the work I will allow you to change the daily average, the daily average. They want you to, you know, as for how far back how I many days you want to see the average daily range is um it it um covered. Next, we have um the contest winner. I will show you that one last because I I like to use it along with or the some of the other ones, but it is actually the one I use in all the contests that I won. I use this very one. It's it's actually a very simple thing in the, in the initial uh, work when I did it. It's actually a currency and a okay. Let, let's wait until we get there. All right. So let's put a money flow index. This is normal money flow index indicator. No big deal. About it. it just shows the overbought levels and the oversold levels. So it has the same settings. I use I use default settings on all of these. Um, Indicators normally. I use default settings on all of the indicators. So and I'm not actually giving up my own settings. So actually, I have I use the default settings. So I would use I'm not using up my own settings to the public is because if you remember the book and the book I mentioned earlier on, Nicholas Davas, how I made two million from the stock market. Now, if you consider trying to use Nicholas Davas method today, you would definitely lose money, and that's because everybody got to know the method. So. So that sometimes you need to keep some things private to yourself. So, and I'm doing that for, for myself. So that is the money flow index in action. And then uh, let me move this. All right, so let me put in the, now this, and I want currency like that, you, I used to use the, it is 20 index indicator. It's the same thing as this, the were bot levels. And then next we have the, I will show you the moving average indicator this is the moving average indicator but default setting is is a um, 14 but you can actually you can actually get to do other things like this is simple for simple number average for the exponential change to one simple smma you know based on all the normal settings of the moving average just put them there anyone you want to use and put in a number you have normal default is applied to close. You won't change to any of these other variables. You, know, you can do that. Just put it as a, the corresponding number. You can even check out the moving average of another currency uh, for another location. As in, there can be, I can even USD card now and check out the moving average of Euro USD. I can also do that for, okay, right now we are on the one hour chart. So if I go on to the, if I press 240, which is for the four hour chart. So reason I'm not seeing this. All right, let me just update this chart for the four hour because it's quite far back. So just 
wait a few minutes. And there is the power of average. So there it is. So if we, for us to really be sure the current this is the last price here. Yeah? So let's check out the flower on the same level. Alright, so it's updated right now, yeah, it is on the same level. Alright, so uh, the next one we're talking about, let's pick up pick up another one. Let's pick up um that would be okay the crossover on stochastics so this okay this is stochastic crossover this is for a cell here yeah? a cell a cell and a buy here yeah. okay this so is crossover extreme that's so that's crossover at the extreme levels yeah extreme yeah at extreme levels, meaning that, okay, let me show you too much noise. All right, this is class six here. This is classic crossover. It's a crossover for a buy at the extreme level. It's why crossover for a sell at the another extreme level of an overbought level. This and um, it never entered overbought oversold here. It is overbought here and this is a sell. Overbought here and this is a sell. This is oversold here and this is a buy. Now, I actually made this this um this to be of this height just in case you want to apply it to to for instance let me show you that by on drag it into this so we don't want it covering too much of your your window there we can actually increase the height so something let's say let me say even fifty it is the height actually it goes as high as high as hundred so but this is just to let you. I prefer to use it in lower and lower height here so that you can actually won't take too much because because it's actually the color is actually bright enough for me to actually see um see it at any time I'm, I'm trading and doesn't take too much space. So you can drag it in into any other equator just to and use it that same way. And, and this is this crossover. Let me not pick it here, I'll put that under chart. So cast this crossover. So this shows because classes anytime it makes a cross. This is a buy and this is a sell and so on. So if I decide to bring it over here, so it's a cross over here. Yeah. So this is a crossover, this is a crossover, this is a crossover, and so on like that. So this is a like crossover, I said at extreme levels. So like crossover at Another extreme level. So this are the, this is a, this is an ex, this is an exact entry for a buy. This is an exact entry for a sell, and so on like that. So depends how you want to use them. So this one, the pre, the previous uh, uh, candle had crossed. So this is why this one was is the is the actual entry level for a buy. And that thing can use this one. Is, another way you can use this one is, um, I think I did it in almost all of them. Yeah, I did it in almost all of them. Is showing you can okay, draw vertical lines or use um or use arrows. I mean, put both at the same time. So these are arrows here, and these are vertical lines. These are the entry points for a buy or a sell, depending on what you want to trade. So, but remember, one other thing I was going to tell you is this: a buy doesn't always mean a buy, and a sell. But let me say, let me rephrase this way. A buy signal doesn't always mean a buy, and a sell signal doesn't always mean a sell. Let me just put that out in the air so for you can use to make meaning out of it. Maybe on maybe today or on a little later date. And then lastly, let's, okay, let's talk about so that's first level here. Okay, let me put it where these other ones are. So this level. So it shows the Oversold levels and the overbought levels. And spaces is at oversold and spaces is at overbought. So there you go. So and the cross happens at that overbought, overbought level. That's where this one comes up. And so on. This, this is just 
Can you just put up your classes indicator? Let me see window. Yeah. Let me delete this one. But I mean, it's actually different. The latest indicator window is from deleting just the indicator that's there. So, the latest indicator window will delete everything. So, let me bring out the auto currency level here. So, there you go. So, in at the bottom screen, at the sold levels. So, this effect just gives helps your tra trading sense that it makes gives you a, a faster view of things without having to be to be unsure of whether it's there or not there. So when this one enters oversold is air, oversold is air, so when it's no more in oversold, just clear and blank. Alright, so lastly we talked about the money flow index. No, sorry, no, you shouldn't that lastly we talked about the contest winner. Alright, I want to bring up the contest winner indicator. This indicator is actually a blend of two different indicators. It's a blend of the stochastic indicator and the relative strength indicator. Um, it like filters out uh, various out various and uh, stochastic crosses and then uh, brings up a new and gives just drops a few a few of the values. By default, I put the uh, arrows and the lines that to come out and when I can actually turn them off. No, that is true. Right, good. so I, I will do that. So now, is it just shows sell this one for sell, this one buy. There are also lines for buy. Is these ones are for buy, and these ones are also for sell, and this one's for sell also. So let me let me just show you the difference in in that. Let me minimize this. All right. So this ones, this magenta color and the aqua color, they are they will come out here when you use have opposite trade and trade. This is false there and um, this one's I'm sorry the trade and trade this one's uh for the green the lime and then the red color so let me do this so but we just want this only only this one depends on which of them you feel is being beneficial to your trading Oh, I, was, I, was, I need to do the opposite rather. It depends on which of them you feel is beneficial to your trading. So, can okay, you just set everything? Is your values is still the same? And there you go. All right. So, it depends on what you what's going to be beneficial to your trading. Those are the ones you actually go ahead to use. So, well, let me just move the arrows and let me show you trying to combine all of this in just a full. Almost like in a, a partial trading system. I'm not even showing you a trading system. I don't know the cost for trading systems, but let me just show you an example of it in play. Now, this is not um, trying to create a complete trading system for you, but just give you an idea of how to use this contest trainer that I have here. All right. So we have. Um, I want to bring up the stochastic crossover. I'll drag it inside here. I want to, uh, this is how I plan on using it. That this is a buy, and it will only be as effective as long as it hasn't crossed over to a sell. This is a classic crossover. So, so this is a buy. It will only be as effective as so immediately as immediately this candle, this candle closes, closes as, as a sell. Starting from the opening of this candle, it will be of no more significance or use. As that just I was just, just showing just particularly just for something like this right now. So this is a buy in trend only as effective as until when it starts being it, it, it crosses down for itself, which is at the opening of this candle. Now this candle is the one that actually closed down to itself. When the candle closes, you are going to this candle, this buy is, is finally shown as you stay at as color already. So so it's only as effective from here to to, to this candle, from this candle here to here. And when, when this buy is effective. And let's say this cell will be effective as maybe it turns, turns, gives a buy a cross, buy cross, it will be no more effective. It's only as effective as only on just try this this period alone. So the entry is actually the entry of this um, cost, um, contest winner indicators are just exactly the time when, when the candle happens, which is the open of the, of the candle it is on. So this one is a buy at this candle, a buy this candle. All right. So let me just add a few more indicators to just to show, give you 
an idea. Okay, let me okay, let me put it out on this other one. It might be that this, these two are correlates, do negative correlates. So let me move this money flow index indicator and then put up the contest winner. But without the arrows, without the arrows. Normally I would have put I would, wouldn't have put the lines, but just to make it clear clearer to you, just for this lesson, you would see that. And also I'll put the crossover. Yeah. The, 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 I also have to use this. I have to use. This, I try to use the same um, settings that I use for this one. This classes of it, the five three three. Also the same settings also for that of the is crossover. Remember that it's the crossover of this one I'm trying to do. So immediately it crosses over. You know that I don't. It's not effect. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So we have arrow card and card signature. So I'm using the buy. I'm using the buys and I'm using the sells. So this this one these are buys these are sells this is two this is also a sell so buy also this one is a buy so I don't really care which color buy is buy I'm using buy I'm not using a I'm not consider what I better this a a opposite uh, trading trade you know like this one for this one and the aqua so all right so now so here we go I want to pick out a period whereby the two of them are seeing the same thing at the same time so if if, if you're expecting a sell on this one they are looking for us a buy on yeah on the card CHF. So let me give you a scenario like that. We have hero card was saying sell here at exactly this time. And it stopped saying sell at this time, 15.00. It started opening, selling a sell at yeah, 13.00. So card CHF was on a buy at exactly that 13.00. Can you see that here? So okay, I actually want you to actually look at it right here. So this 13.00 can do. And then this is 13.00 can do for yourself. So at that 13.00, it's what they are giving. This one is giving a buy, and this one is giving a sell. So this is a good, a good trade to enter one or both of uh, of them. So one other thing you want to use, what, what if, if one is an entry, how do you go about the exit? So uh, let me just go by showing you some other ones. So cast this level indicate. So cast this level indicator showing over bought and over sold. Let me let me increase the level. I'm oh, sorry. Let me increase the level. So I'm ready. Giving it, you know, over button about sold, and then I'll bring it out the money flow index and then the early right, strength index. Let me come, I think I brought up my money flow index twice, so that really is strength index. So, so car six level. Um, okay, yeah, it's 100 money flow index and then the resistance strength index. Money flow index, I brought the wrong one earlier on. And the rate is strength index. You really don't need to bring out so many. But the thing is, when you're trying to create a trade set, you try to just see put out so as many as you can for 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 starters, and then you st you, st you stop it as a you remove the ones that you see that are no useful thereafter. This, or this is not part, this is actually a full trading cost uh, on on, on uh, trading systems. But when time comes, I will t tell you a lot more on that. But just for now, for this process. All right, continuing this. Now, over here, with this uh, 13 zero zero buy, I'm taking a buy over here, up to, to cast this level here. Yeah, starting from here, to where cast this level was, at the divide bot level. Now, consider that on the uh, euro card, at 13 zero zero. Was it, no, it was this one, okay. It is just our sell. Now there wasn't really a chance for it to really come out to really make much move than was this way. But on Euro, I can't say if was able to give a, give the another bot level around here. So if, if now compared, taking two of them into consideration, one of them was overbought at, at a particular level on Sokasix, and then this other one too 
No, no, they didn't get oversold on any of these three indicators. But still, after that, they had to go back up. It's real steep to exit on time based on the fact that you've already gotten profits without having to wait till the whole thing reverses back against you. Like in the euro card. So you exit based on what you are saying here, or just one of them saying extreme level. It's quite wise to also do what? Exit around the same time for the other one too. So this one was buy enough for this. And this one was sell enough for this. Now we notice that on these two, there wasn't any extreme level uh, that we could give you an exit. It's just making, just trying to make a simple um, analysis of the whole thing. You're like, okay, all right. So go back into the past again to see if more and more situations whereby it, whereby it's only why this one will be the exit or this one or this one. And remember also that this all this is average settings. You can reduce the the the. You can reduce the, the value of the money flow index or that of the RSI to give you um, better signals so you can actually exit on time or without having to be so long in, in the market. Because it's also adding extreme levels of uh, 80 and 20 you can reduce those levels too to give you better signals also to give you faster signals to exit on time. So I majorly use these guys just to exit trades just to before that that you don't be in a trade just for just too long. It actually work, work, works that way. I think I'll read that, that just too much, too much to you right now. I think I will stop on that. All right, let's just look at another example of how to use these things. Okay, let's look, see another one. This is a, a sell, sell, buy, sell. All right, and this, let's see. Okay, good. I think there's a buy here around the time. This is a 400 buy here. And nobody, let's check out this one. There was a 400 sell. I'm not about they should be exactly, they should be happening at the same time, but the trend should be effective. For that, for what I'm saying, comparing the two of them, so this was a sell. This one, I said, this sell will only be as effective at, as far as this this uh, bar. Let's add something bigger, yeah? All right. So this, sorry, if I, if I used to adjust to it on time. All right. So this uh, this this or this bar, this buy be as effective as it hasn't gotten to oversold. Uh, it gotten it hasn't it hasn't um. Uh, crossed, so it hasn't crossed down for sell. So at the close of this can do this bar, this uh, cross down for sell. Meaning that the open this can do it won't, it won't be of any use to be a to follow the trend on this. And that's talk, talk about specifically just for just what I'm trying to just give you a sample trading system. I'm trying to just show you on this. And then this one is sell at the open of this candle, and it actually the sell was, wasn't effective only on this candle because at the open of this next candle, it has given us a buy cross, like given us a buy cross over here. So uh, uh, right, right from me, it was not effective. So it was only actually throughout the candle. But luckily enough, it was also at a time also when this one, this four o'clock, was also when this one was also on a buy. So so at that at that time, we take a buy on this one and the sell on this one. So our target, take a look again. The stochastic, um, stochastic eighty twenty, we were bought here on this one, and then a uh, card CHF was oversold around there so taking a sell here man also take what will be a stop loss i can't i won't give you a specific value for stop loss but take a look at what something what the possible range will actually work out well for your stop loss you know and then we have to actually go out come down and eat exit extreme level here and this one i want to want to give out an extreme level here so now, do you carry throughout the period whereby it is saying overbought and when it crosses down and uh, leaves the overbought region? I'm talking about this one. Throughout when it is at the overbought region and when it leaves the overbought region, or do you let it? You, do you let it? You, you, you take the ride and maybe immediately it's overbought. You exit. You know, it actually was overbought at the close of the candle of eight zero zero. That that means you exit by exactly open of nine zero zero. That's for uh, Euro card. How about for card CHF? It was. Oversold on 10.00, and um, that means by open of 11.00, you exit, exit trade. So from year to year, was around six pips there, 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 there around. So and then that if you, but then remember, if we are going to follow the same thing we did here, that means we'd have exited this uh, US uh, card CHF at the same time we exited the euro card. That's if we are going to exit by exact one, one or any one of them gets to an extreme level. So can I try to get something else to let's say okay when it gets to an extreme level, do I exit immediately the candle is the buy is just there or should I wait a little bit to see 
if it goes to continue at that extreme level, you don't want to talk about how well, how long you should really carry on the ride. I won't give you any answer to that other than the fact that use the whatever it is that you've been using before. Similarly, this is to cause this um, uh, cortex winner indicator. Use it based on the best uh, cortex indicator, indicator settings you've been using before and the best um, ISI period uh, indicator you use, uh, period you've been using before. This one actually forms a blend of those two and tries to give you more, better, better values for entries. So without having to uh, with limit your risk and limit your exposures. So this is, so this is in action like with this and this, yeah, let me just bring up another currency pair that have good correlation this one and this one so and so far so good we've seen you've seen it just having a uh, giving us something fantastic with him um, just the stochastic level in the case so let's skip this these two for now so but on your own time really go through the whole thing and go through all everything and you see how we can actually get extreme levels uh, whether you to work out for lower values of this ones or at where or you know to exit but so far so good we've seen this one happen, happening if uh, one one time here happening at that the time of a good really giving us good exits but right, let's say AUD USD and NZD USD and this is USD card let's take back USD card to this and then let me give me a blank template All right so we have um, um okay so we have um, the contest winner and then let me move arrows and then on uh, aid, aid on this one give it make it blank again all right so look, let me just do this contest winner there and then we're talking about um so classes cross over there and then so cast six level yeah so i can just go ahead and say save this template can I give it any name and just do this Make it fast. So we want the same thing over here and the same thing over here. Oh, sorry, same thing over here. Then, okay. So make this look better. Let's do this. We could just um, come around to to move every other thing we don't need. You don't need to have so many on your chart. Remember, actually, this is, a, this is a cost, so I actually wanted to give you everything as I can, I can give as much as I can. So that's why you are seeing just too many of all the sat ones on my chart. So I'm also you have too too much of it on your chart, so it will slow down your, your PC, or even you slow on your chart and you don't want anything slow as far as, far as the trading is concerned. So once you can do to make your your chart work faster, is to number one disable the news. Of course, most of you are actually using news various news websites, so. It, to reduce every unnecessary usage and this one here back not bad in this tree make this one like if it's the one you're working with not the one you're using to for tests make, make this make this one shouldn't be more than like five thousand and this one like two thousand so that is if you're using this one for to work to as in, like really everyday trade but the ones actually you'll be putting out all those extreme values are the ones that you probably want to use to make analysis because you want to a low lot of data to be, to exist so, but you're just only just using it for us to trade. You don't need this I values because otherwise it doesn't slow down your PC or it's slowing your platform. And you want fast executions at all times. So, for now, on this this one right now, we haven't just this. We're to put not this. Let's see if we can get something that will give us. No, we don't need this, but we need NDUSD, right? So, and we do that. we do that, right? Good. So, let's look at where where you can get some. Um, Okay, something that happened right here. It picked up the same uh, timings as this. But by the time I refresh this, to be to have its own, only its own. So like for instance, it's having still the same line as of this. So if you are, if you are do, using templates, so remember to always make this kind of changes. So let me write. So I go back and forth to have its own timings, its own bars alone showing up. Okay, so let's see for this day. For this, that this is previous. Let me move the auto scroll. Right. So, so for this today, 
this is USD card. Remember, USD card has a negative correlation with this folks there. So to be these two folks. So on this on this day, nothing yet. On this day, does not none of them was really correlating with it because by the time this one like exited, this one was you know and it was let's confirm let me confirm. Is a buy on okay, okay, okay. Most it must be they are negative correlates, so you can actually you can't use the same buy on here and buy on here. But this was buy ended at this time, ended at uh, six o'clock, and then this one's buy was at what time? Five o'clock. So this this have been valid if the two of them were actually positive correlates because the buy was still in 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 in, in good trend in good um, standing throughout these periods. So it have been good really good um, but unfortunately this is a negative correlates so you can actually use use this. Right, so let's check it not not not, not this day. Okay, okay, there's another one there's one here. Let's see. This there was a buy here and there was a sell here. The sell was started at uh, one o'clock and this this uh, buy uh, was effective but it stopped at one o'clock. So by what so so by the time this one started this one at this, this one was no money in, in the buy trade, sorry. But this one by this one this one entered it was influencing for itself, this one's buy trend that finished. So there was really could have been no trade based on that. Right, let's select this another one. Let's see this and this another new day. And let's go to the new day. Let's go to the new day. This day is fifth, fifth. No, this sixth. I think I, I dragged too much. Okay, so this is sixth, sixth, and then this is sixth. So let's see. There was a buy here. There was a buy here. Good. And then this one was it was a sell far off here. So it was just too far as so you wouldn't be using this. But you need so the, but these two which are correlates are actually having a trade around at the same time. Or around the same time they're about. Yeah, exactly the same time. This 2300 and then this 2300 for a buy. Which of them which of them was exit ex ex first? Which was uh, this one entered the got overbought at uh, nine nine o'clock. This one got overbought at uh, ten o'clock. So by nine o'clock, over here this is from the doji here. So actually, if if you're going to use, if I, if I get over, over to an extreme level first, exit at that time. Don't care about anything else. So this, this should have been if you just exit that, this will be around nineteen pips, and then this other would have would have been entry 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 here, uh, exit around yeah, exit, exit at uh, is at ten no this twenty one twenty twenty one pips there about. So, so this is actually I'll call it. This is actually a good trade based on that scenario. So, it's a trading system, but it's sometimes I won't tell you that this is the only trade you can use this from because I actually have several trades that I actually have. As a matter of fact, I think I will show you something right now. Okay, or more, more, even much later at the very end, you see when I am going to be showing up on the screen. So I was playing just showing you about archiving your trading systems and making good use of them either for now or for the future right so this is a um, there there and let's see let's let's do one more okay let's see one more day and um, this this will be the fifth there's a fifth this, this is the okay look at the fifth ended here All right. so from here to here let's go on to the fifth here I go on to the fifth here. All right, so obviously you can see something is happening right here, and then over here also you can definitely see something about to give us a, a good a good trade here. Okay, so we could say from here this is there's a buy here. There's a buy at um, two o'clock, but the buy was not more effective by four o'clock. So but this one had a sell at two o'clock. So so this this buy. So this sell and this buy are correlates at a very good time. All right, that's one. You yeah. and over here, this is a, a buy a buy at um, five o'clock. So this one was definitely of no use to this one. So but this sell wasn't of any was it was affected anymore by five o'clock. So so by this until happened at five o'clock. So this buy was no of no use to either this one or this one on that day. So this this one and this one were both happening at a very good time. So we could actually take them at two o'clock. Two o'clock. This is a buy here, and this is a sell here. So a buy at this time. Remember, we we haven't fixed a a, a a stop loss. So 
go ahead go to go through the past and so much see how far how much of a how much it's really would move to you know to for you to say okay you're gonna pick up a class surplus you want to use so that will give you a good average and clear work with so then you're going down to an extreme level yeah and then about this one this one is sell coming down to an extreme level yeah so this one each, each of them got to an extreme level first this one got to an extreme level so at the close of the close of this count which was, which, which was the open of which was the open of 1600 and this one got to an extreme level at um 1200 and exited at and then that over unless and they got to the end of the extreme level at 1300 one thing and one other thing you can do because you know that after a while so that is there is there, are you actually living too much on the table by just exiting just too early or you or do you try a way to see if both of them can get to the extreme level like if you wait you can say you can wait until this one to 1600 or if, if you waited on 1600 you'd have gotten both of them at, at really good good um, good points to exit okay you can actually make see one we, um, what we can do is this you can say exit when both of them are at extreme levels or if one of them reaches an extreme level and leaves out extreme level that means the other one will definitely won't probably yeah, get to that level again like in this scenario this one was at extreme level yeah, yeah but it now left the robot level at the after so you can say okay i will i will hold on to this one until to see if this one will get to his own extreme level if it gets there instantly which is open up this candle i close and uh, or if one of them gets to a certain level and decides to leave the extreme level, if the second has got into his own extreme level, then I will just exit this one and then this one. But, but luckily in this scenario, it, this buy got to the bot level and the sell got to the bot level. So it's quite easy, why to just exit here. So you can use this method of exiting when both of them are extreme levels or leave, or when one of them leaves the extreme level. You can get more pips over time. Just go, 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 to, go to the past. I believe I've given you us too much. That's it. Okay, so until next time, I remember we are talking about full trading systems. We talk about it. The world was small. We see more examples and I see various trading systems in play. I'm uh, using the same indicator. This depends on the indicator a, a lot of times. Using it in so many scenarios to in various form, forms and how to create yours from scratch. We just we just using basic indicators. Now, this is actually just stochastics and RSI, but filtered out. This is just stochastics, just to try to make it look cool. I won't say cooler, but just easier to use. So and this is a um, soccer six level, I don't know what about both level. So just it's quite easy. Just try to I just use made this indicators just to make my life better. So I am um, I would um, let's see. Okay, these are the items that we I just went through with you just now. So if you happen to not to have gotten the tools before now. All these tools, I these two, all these ones I've shown you. You have not to have gotten these tools before now, but you, yeah, you need them. So you can just easily come over to this site. Either you come to my Facebook page, it's my company. So I come to my Facebook page, which is very by Timmy. Facebook.com slash Forex by Timmy. And then on during in the shop, you will get to buy the tools. And then if you have um um, if you need an upgrade, upgrade. Maybe you want me to a, a, a switch over the trading system into an expert advisor for you. you can go, come back to the service page and make a request for that. Similarly, on Gumroad, can make a purchase the item and also uh, make a request for an upgrade to an expert advisor. We, hopefully, you created by a trading system from by them. So I do that also here on um, uh, Fiverr, fiverr.com slash timmyt and gumroad.com slash timmy facebook.com slash forex by team so those are the two three places i can get me right now for now if i have another one too if in future i will let you know in my videos so and then the i think this should be the app this should be the book cover front and back cover of the book and these are some of the other banners you'll be seeing around and so i'm your free all right so so those are the covers here and there so lastly we will be talking about um, the scalping multi-terminal let me bring it out bring out one on the blank sheet all 
right? Even if I, this is crappy multi terminal, you just put on a chart in order to enable live trading. It's better you this one's off, enable live trading, and then the inputs. It goes on to catch 10 pips at every single every, every single movement. So, and yeah, and I enter a buy trade or a sell trade. The one that I allow at the moment is what you what to be enter. So, I want look, let's say, let me put a sell trade for instance now. Sell trade true, then say okay, then allow this. This will enter 10 trades in the direction of a sell. Oopsie. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I have it here on the GAP USD chart. Actually, I actually keep it on the first one, on the, on the very left here. I keep it on the very left. And this is not even a, 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 a contest I should be using. I should, actually, I should place it on the Insta Forex Lucky Trader contest. I, because that's the one I actually use to catch just 10 pips. And this is there's a, there's a there's a wrong calculation here. This share should be 25. But I make before they I make I make this make this sale. I, I put it in a package this for the for the sale. I would have made the correction to edit it to ensure that everything is compulsorily and 10 pips. So to the net profit. Right. So this one this one didn't execute, but this one was able to execute all five of it. Yeah, this also lets you know that the multi time the trade the, 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 the trading time now starts from the left starts updating data from the very left of the chart so you have too many yeah it's, it's, I mean, it's really take a while for it and you have a good and um, price feed here yeah. but that's if your computer is even slow anyway but you have good internet connection it might not really matter because you just you just side note all right so i'll be closing this one because it's wrong and okay what let me still okay no problem i still want to give a show an example anyway so this is it this is a um, it's in action. Let me remove from one of them. So, so this is it. Now, for, if for instance, now I need to keep on having sell until a particular level is reached. So I could say uh, this. Uh, I could say let me. I'll say I hope, hope that you probably up to the test this level again. But I don't. I'm just. I'm not. You're using an example. I'm not telling you to do use of like this. Or you could let's say you could draw a trend line. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me, I think the trend line will be much better. To rely on than this, so I'm drawing trend line from somewhere that's lower than this. So we have from here to here. Good. So if this one is going to come down towards this level, I will say, okay, I want it that this list at this level here, give you the price around 1.3197. So when price reaches this, this level 1.3197, I don't want to execute any sell trades again. I'll just say, come over here. Edit, edit properties. I'll say um, sell target 1.3 1 1.31 instead of going for 97. I'll say 200 zero zero. because I, I don't need to get the exact. I don't use I don't like using the exact levels of trend lines. Remember, the, it also is also tightening up as going up this way. So when price reaches this level, to know what place is sell trade that way, I'll keep on catching. 10 pips all this way till it gets to this level and leave like that without him to able to mind it. I mean, I'm the first 10 pips to be caught here and that, and that, and that 10 pips and that 10 pips that if my di direction is really accurate. And for any of this, I'm trading into profit and, and it's in a contest that um, is also another contest. This is, a, this is the um, real scalping contest from 20, I'm open to give from 20 to 20, 25,000. And this is. Like this is the this is the second week, so we have two more weeks to go. All right. So there you have it, and then let me close. No need to risk it. After the whole, after the whole, thing, I will have to focus on it. All right. So of this, so if you haven't gotten any of the tools, I used to get them, get them at the end of these three locations, and then by between now and then, I would, I would have updated the pages, and then you to see. What you want to buy or if you want to make an upgrade to change any of the tools to an EA, you can do that over there.